Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how add 3D shadows and then I will show you how to add a fake shadows to a text or any objects in After Effects. Note, 3D shadows work only in 2025 After Effects, if you use older AE, you won't be able to use 3D shadows feature. Let's begin with 3D shadows, click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, I will select some points here and then right click and select set ground plane and origin, then right click again and select create text and camera. I will write AM film and then slightly correct the text. Before we add any shadows, first we have to make sure that our 3D renderer is set on advanced 3D. Click here and change it to advanced 3D. You can change 3D renderer from composition settings as well. Press Ctrl and K on your keyboard, then go to 3D renderer tab and change it to advanced. Now let's create new light layer. Make sure light type is set to environment and then check casts shadows and hit OK. Create new solid layer now. I will name it shadows and then make sure the size is the same as your composition and then hit OK. We will resize that solid layer a bit later. Move shadows layer below your text and then enable 3D on it as well. Then press S on your keyboard and resize that solid until it covers your video. Now rotate X rotation something like that and as you see we are able to see the shadows of the text, but let's fix everything and make it more smoother. First of all I will make that solid even more bigger. Now let's expand shadow settings and go down to material options and expand it, make sure to change except shadows to only. Now we see only shadows of the text. If we drag the text anywhere else, the shadows will follow it and that's why 3D shadows are good to go with. Now let me show you how to improve the quality of your shadow. Click here on advanced 3D and then click on renderer options. In that popped out window we will change some settings, but before let me explain what fit to scene means. Sometimes when you make 3D shadows, shadows don't appear and they are not visible at all. To fix it, open renderer options and click on fit to scene and this will fix all your shadow issues. You can copy my settings here for a smoother quality, or play around with the settings until you will be happy. But note, the more render quality you set, the more time it will take to render your video. So in my case with my CPU I use render quality 10 and it's enough in my case. The smoothness I use 15, in some cases I bump it up slightly until the shadow gets smoother, but 15 looks fine for now. The resolution will also depend on your CPU, RAM, and GPU. If you have weak PC, you can set it to half to preview your video faster, but the quality will be poor. In my case I use full, because it's balanced and less laggy. If you need more quality, you can use double. But from this video you can see that the shadows are really smooth and I will leave these settings as they are. In case you want change the direction of the shadow, make sure to expand transform under the environment light layer, and here feel free to change X and Y rotation until you will be happy. And now we can jump to a fake shadows tutorial. As you see I have removed everything except my text and 3D tracker and also I will change my 3D renderer to classic since we don't need advanced 3D anymore. So here is the track text and first what I am going to do is, duplicate the text and then select bottom one and let's rename it to shadow. Let's change X rotation to something like that and then apply fill layer on a shadow layer. Change color to black. Now decrease the opacity until it looks fine to you. Finally let's apply Gaussian blur effect on a shadow layer and then bump up blurriness until you will be satisfied with it. And we are done with fake shadows, let me know in the comments which looks more realistic and which you will use in your edits. Fake one was easier and looks pretty nice too, but 3D shadows are more natural in most cases and more functional, it will just depend on you and your edit, which you will need more. In my opinion both are good to use, and you will agree that the fake one was the fastest and easiest. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.